Hey guys, welcome back to Index Online and welcome to another episode, actually the last episode, at least for a while, of Pretend Your XYZZY, also known as Cards Against Humanity Online. This is going to be the last episode that obviously I film for a while unless I'm with a group just because I I played it a bunch. I think you guys are enjoying it, but I want to come back to it later. I don't want to play too much of it to where you guys don't want to watch it and I don't want to play it and I want to come back to it with a group. So we're going to be kind of shelving this for a little bit and playing a bunch of different games, which if you like this series... I'm sorry if you didn't like it and wanted me to go play more Endless Legends slash Minecraft slash Hearthstone. Congrats, it's finally happening. So let's just make this last episode special and get right into whatever this is. All right. So white women doing yoga. Uh, I I don't I don't. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna start this off strong, for and we're just gonna. We're just gonna get rid of some cards. Kitiana lap dancing, gun blazing, B rush, Kirby has a problem. All kind of cards that you probably were not gonna need. Cause I didn't. <laughs> I am tired. I had a. It, it's a Monday. I'm filming this on a Monday. I can't think three cards. I can't tie those all together and make it funny. That's way too hard. Cannot do that. Well, anyway, guys, there's been some new things in my life. Uh, an appreciation of Bob Marley is the first one. I, for some reason, the alternative station, 94.7, station, I was, I was searching for the world earlier and I kept on coming with like radio channel, uh, radio show, radio station, that's a word. <laughs> you guys won't get that, that's probably not funny to you, but literally it took me like 15 minutes to not think of that word, and then immediately when I tried to say it on here, I was like, oh, radio station. But they started playing a lot of Bob Marley, and because I'm traveling a lot, it is my senior year at high school, I'm trying to check off some stuff on my bucket list with my friends before they move away to wherever they're going. I move away to wherever I'm going. And, you know, we just kind of split up. And we're going to, like, San Francisco. We're going to the beach a couple times, like Santa Cruz. We're going to Tahoe. We're going to go to just a bunch of places. And Bob Marley music, and RJ, he's just like, we're going to go camping. And Bob Marley has some great music for camping. It's just like, it's mood music. It's perfect for camping. It's perfect for being on the beach, going surfing, and stuff like that. Like, his music is fantastic for, like, California, like, living. And I don't really like a lot of his music unless I'm like doing that sort of stuff because I won't just sit down and listen to a lot of Bob Marley songs just because I don't really like the style that much. But whatever. Okay. What hurts more than a kick to the balls? Two kicks to the balls. Two. Uh, should we spell it out? Two kicks to the balls. I don't know. I just... <laughs> Uh, what hurts more than a kick to the balls? Two kicks to the balls. Oh, no. Two kicks to the ball. Okay, never mind. I thought I messed up on the grammar, and I was like, oh, shit, this is embarrassing. Uh, I might not have wanted to waste that card, but whatever. You flashlight up an asshole. Uh, my big titty please girl. The sound of leather on skin. Ew. The shit you take after... I didn't... Mm. The realization that I, I will never be able to seduce hot red-headed anime, anime guys... The Black Bible, finding out your aunt is a whore, blah, 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 pulling out anal be okay. Goddamn. <laughs> All right. Then Harry suddenly said, the, wor <laughs> the world is fucked, I tell you. Fucked. Whatever, we're going to go like that. God hates you and just do it are also pretty good cards, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep these ones. Michelle Obama's in here. Oh no, Michelle Obama tackled this person. Goddamn. Michelle Obama, I think, has been a pretty good first lady. Like, I'm not getting into politics, but I feel like she's supported some pretty, like, neutral issues. Like, we're talking getting healthy, and she's just done fun stuff, and she's, like, raised her children, I guess, while doing that. So, like, I feel like she's been a pretty good first lady. I'm going to stay away from whether Obama has been a good president or not, because uh, that is a debate I don't want to take a part <laughs> take part in. And But, like, Michelle Obama, like, I'm cool. And I also, like, I like Obama. I am not. I don't agree with all of his policies, stuff like that. But Obama's a very likable president. He's kind of, like, captured, like, the stardom part of it. And he's very good at that. And family night strip poker. Ew. You're a wizard, Hagrid. Oh, my gosh. How did that card not win? Oh, my God. Why is her stomach all sticky? Mountain Dew and Doritos. 
<laughs> we're gonna go with Mount. No, we're gonna do the food gasm, whatever. I feel like that has more good connotations, funny connotations. How many show game options? Scroll minus 15. That was good. I saw this guy at seven points, and I was like, please don't be at eight points because I want to keep on playing. But there we go. All right, so we're at almost at the bottom. We have one point. We're tied for. Yeah, we're tied for last place, but don't worry, guys. The comeback is on, and I have to check what time it is so I don't go over my recording. So it's 6.32 on a Monday, and this is what I'm doing. Not my homework, not my college apps. I am just doing, just recording, and you know what? I feel like I'm having a good time. I feel like this is a good use of my time. What time was it? 6.33. Hmm. Might have said something else. I thought I said 6.36. I could have sworn I said that, but apparently not. 6.33. Maybe, I, maybe I'm missing out on it few hours of sleep whatever it's a Monday you know you keep on going no matter what yeah see this is like an intimidating knife I'm not gonna lie but really it's just kind of like it's not that good like it's not sharp and I bought it for like $20 just because I was like I need a big knife I need a knife that like you stick into like a sheath and like it scares people this is the knife that I got because it was cheap but like it's just not very sharp but anyway I'm just gonna put that down why is your stomach all sticky Fuck me if I'm wrong, but we have met. But have we met? Uh, discovering your girlfriend's pe. Ugh, okay, this is. I like these like set of cards. I haven't seen a lot of these cards before, but goddamn. Holy shit! They yeah. The holy shit! These answers are right. Those were a bunch of good answers. I wish I would have read them all out, but I was just too busy talking about my knife. All right. My girlfriend has been gone for five days now. She come, she left last Wednesday. She's in Boston, and she's coming back next Wednesday. And it's been kind of boring because I do hang out with my girlfriend like a fair amount. So like, like three of the days, I'm like I have to find something else to do other than hang out with my girlfriend for a week. Um. So, but it's it's nice. I get a break from her. Just kidding. I'm kidding. She watches these videos. I'm joking. I'm totally joking. Um. <laughs> but yeah. Don't really have anything else to say on that topic. I was gonna say something, then I realized probably best not to. Whatever. Whatever fails to fascinate people. There's gonna be some bad answers to this. I've got whatever fails to fascinate people. White woman doing power yoga. That's a good card. I should. I wish I could have done that. All right. Donald Trump for president. Finding a fetus in a ball pit. Furries catching all 151 Pokemon. A paper cut across. Nope. Melissa Harris Perry and burning down the house. All right, so it's definitely between Donald Trump for president because that, that, and it's it's basically between the first four. Furries, I don't... Mm, uh, <laughs> catching all 151 Pokemon. I'm tempted to pick that just because, obviously, Pokemon Go just went on. Uh, Donald Trump for president, maybe? Eh, whatever, we're going to go with catching all 151 Pokemon because that is... It's just classic i love i literally love pokemon when i was growing up i played my cousin who's a guy around the same age as me we used to play pokemon would get i'd get the diamond version he'd get the pearl version so we got like because there's two games and like i'd get one version he'd get the other one and we trade a bunch we'd battle it was freaking fantastic it was like that's my childhood right there a day with a day with the grim reaper a whatever we'll go with that and yeah we just that was just my childhood so when pokemon go came out and it was like a craze and like pokemon was like cool but pokemon's never really been not cool like my freshman year there was these like emulators on your iphone that you actually like plugged in and you didn't plug in anything but you downloaded them from the web and you could play pokemon on them and those were actually kind of like big like what a couple of my friends played them and a lot of people like were playing them so it's never like Watching the gay, watching gay porn for the plot, not the gay porn. <laughs> uh, that's a funny card. And yeah, it's just like it, it's never not been cool to play Pokemon. And then Pokemon Go just brought it to a new level. It's understood that Hollywood sells white women doing power yoga. God hates you. Just do it. Mountain Dew and Doritos. The Mighty American Dollar. A dead hooker. Yeah, we're gonna go white woman doing power yoga. What even is power yoga? Let's see, power yoga. I didn't mean to do that. I'm giving this girl some nice uh, publicity. Not that uh, she needs it. You can't look. 
go to prison. I thought that, am I gonna get copyright for this? Okay. Yeah, I probably would get in trouble if I did this, but whatever. Understand, none of you guys should report me. Paul Walker's ashes. God damn. Sugar Daddy Va Vietnam, Tim Wise, why would we do power yoga and shitty Wi Fi? It was between me and that. And she's climbing the stairway to. We'll go with the mighty American dollar. Because. And she's climbing the stairway to the mighty American dollar. Kind of makes sense. And that's good. Alright, what are these guys saying? Yeah, uh, something. Batol? Batol. And spook. I'm still, I'm still laboring down with one point. I need to pick up my game. I gotta stop talking to you guys and just focus on the game. Heaven. That, that's... This guy messed up. <laughs> that's probably not gonna win because of that. Like, come on. Getting stabbed to death at Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Distinguished Master Guardian, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your cousin, because everybody, blah, blah, blah. Ew. Uh, I don't know what that means, using dildos as... Is that a thing? Wow. That's kind of, like, skillful if you can actually do that. It's not a very nice picture in your head, though. <laughs> heaven. Stairway to heaven. Okay. Mighty American Dollar. It's got to win. It always wins. Come on. I'm going to look up he is. Hegemony. Oh. So that's basically racism. And. Okay. Michelle Obama tackled me. Won that. Cuts deeper than swords. Actually taking responsibility for your own bad play. Uh, a dead hooker cuts deeper than swords. Getting killed again and start getting killed in Dark Souls again cuts deeper than swords. We're gonna go with that one. <laughs> no, oh, god damn it! I need to stop making those decisions. Actually, taking responsibility for your own bad play. I feel like that's like the best one, and I've had that card for a while since the very start. So I feel like I should have played that. I feel like there's more opportunities to play this card than that card, but maybe not because that references a specific video game. So I don't know. But whatever. Victory F. Victory F. I don't think she spelled that correctly. Ian. Who's Ian? I am. Maybe. Who knows? MLG, soundbite, mic spam, whatever. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go take a nap after this. I can't wait. The idiot who thinks Link <laughs> is named Zelta. An anti-tank rifle cuts deeper than swords. That's got to win. Angrily. Oh, or that one. Having a scroll moment of fucking 15. When you find out Home Hardware doesn't give out expert advice. Compton. Okay, it's, it's, for me anyway, it's between an anti-tank rifle and an angry fisting. But that's, I mean, that's a funny card, but it doesn't really work. How does that, I don't know. I would have gone with an anti-tank rifle just because anti, anti, whatever. Uh, a dead hooker was better in 1.6? I don't know. GTA? Who knows? Let's see if we can win this. I've won one round. <laughs> this is bad. One of the things that I was gonna gonna try to start doing, but I kind of ran out of time, is I was gonna try to edit these so it just like, you guys would see me put it up, see me like deliberate deliberating, see like maybe like a story or two, like when I just kind of talk randomly and ramble on, and then like I'd cut it to like where it just show me choosing like whatever I was talking about, funny stuff that I was talking about, or interesting stuff that I think is interesting anyway that I was talking about, and then like the answer, but I just kind of ran out of time. I don't have enough time to do that, and. I mean, like, I will eventually, but college apps and school, it's just, and lacrosse, it's, like, too much right now to actually do that. Like, I'm still putting effort in. I'm still trying to get videos out every two days, but uh, I just get drained sometimes. I just can't do it. The latest had a pillar fan, population control, <laughs> airplanes, a dead hooker, surf maps, the police, the shocker, Star Wars, Battlefront. All right, so it kind of depends, like, whether this guy's a nerd or not, because they're, like, well, this guy or girl, because if he or she's a nerd then they're gonna want to choose star wars battlefront because you know it makes nerd sense just kidding um but like if they're kind of like you know kind of like cool no i'm just kidding if they have like more sense of humor than more like reason eh, i don't know logic then they're gonna choose population control or a dead hooker and they chose population control so that's great i'm a strong independent black woman who don't need mountain dew and doritos 
Let's put the next one right up their ass. Mountain Dew and Doritos. Mm -hmm. I don't need to actually take any responsibility for your own bad play. Whatever. Yeah, and I, I had a. I've been sick for the past few weeks. I was sick when I recorded the last episode of this, and I'm still sick because I went out and sat in the. So, I got sick like maybe like Friday. I'm, I'm just giving you a time frame. I got sick maybe Friday. Saturday, I went from 4 to 10 p.m., sat out in the rain selling tickets for a haunted house, which goes to benefit Hands for Hope. Then, which, you know, that obviously didn't help me because it was pouring rain. I was walking around in a wizard costume helping, like, direct people to the 10th and selling tickets. And then uh, Sunday, I went and played a lacrosse game in the rain again. So all that has done is made me feel so much more worse. And then I realized, I was like, you know what? Premium hot cocoa sounds like a really good idea after I come home from school after volunteering with a bunch of other people. I should have some of that. So I had this big ass mug and now I don't feel good. All men should keep blank. Kings most of all. Emoji sound by Mike Spam. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My favorite thing in this game is when people get defensive. Uh, sorry, I'm probably a little bit too far away from the mic. My favorite thing in this game is when people get a little bit too of, like offended with like what the card person picks, and then that card person defends themselves. It's like that made no sense on that card. They were all effing trash. Um, Leroy Jenkins. There. Oh shit, we just won. Hell yes. But anyway. When people like defend their like picks and stuff, it's so funny because occasionally they just get super butthurt. It turns into an internet fight, and you know nothing ever good. So like eventually one ends up leaving, and then like we're all just kind of sitting there like we picked our cards. Like everyone just sitting there while they like argue on, and it's 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 very very funny. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't happen in this game because I am recording. I can word salad. I don't know what that means. But hey guys, I won the second round. Come back time. Only call you I'm on. What is this? Michelle Obama tackled me and probably hit your head or something. Because you're not making any any sense. Uh, apparently, Kay kept quiet, <laughs> realizes what she's talking about. I guess not. I I only call you on I only I only call you. I'm on AM radio and she'll. I only call you. <laughs> I'm sorry. My sister just walked out. Yeah, if you heard the door slam, that was my sister. She's 10. Maybe she's a little bit stressed. International God Hate You Day. Fool Day. GoldenEye 7. Super Smash Bros. God Hate You. Now let's go just do it. That, that's a good one. Damn Harambe. Damn Harambe. International. It's a trap day. I really wanted to instill as much fear as I can. As if by basing a teacher, which I will then proceed to have sex with. That's right. I'm going to F the fear. Okay. That's a good card. I wish I had that card. How? Mm. I want a card so I can be like, yo, check out Antics Online. Fapping to zero suit, Samus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, this is going to be the last round. I got to win it. I overdosed on... Eddie Murphy. It's a real tragedy. Uh, let's go to my SoundCloud. Wait, no. Can I show that? Probably not. Wait, why would I not be able to show that? Let's go to Twitch. I haven't been on Twitch in a while. I'm just kind of like, I'm too lazy to actually edit this. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. That's probably bad. I'm too busy to edit this. And so you guys are just going to kind of chill with me while I wait for this last round to end. And I go somewhere else. I've been thinking about streaming... That's my sister right there. <laughs> She's tapped on the window. Terrifying. I overdosed on a used hand, some Jesus sperm. Well, that was actually really quick, so I feel like we can do one more round. I want to win. I overdosed on spells. I think that was probably on accident. Like, you just double clicked right down there. Oops. Twitch is showing. Spartans! Tonight we dine in a. Muppet necking? Super Smash Bros. using a wheel controller. 
let's put the probably I can't actually say that because my sister just walked by. Dine in the fire at Fort Murray. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. I'll fucking destroy that. Uh, they're, now they're oh god we got chat discussing uh, Harambe say ooh god damn a mind show was decapitated head on its shell I give up. Jezebel just posted an article on God hates you. They probably actually would. Dear white people, that's a good one. Jezebel, if you don't know, is a... I don't know really what... It's some weird, like, gaming news. I've only seen it on Menacist. And don't judge me because I follow that person on Twitter. On my, like, personal account, not on the Antics Online account. Um, but, like, I follow them. And, like, they posted this article or, like, a screen... Ca uh, screen screen capture, screen pick, whatever you want to call it, of a Jezebel article where they're like, why isn't it No Woman's Sky? Talking about No Man's Sky. And uh, it's just weird. It, they're just kind of weird. I'm just like, they don't make a lot of sense sometimes, but I don't know too much about it, so I can't really judge them. The Fitness Pacer Test is a multi-stage. That is a freaking great card. If you do not live in America, you don't understand that, but Fitness Test, the Pacer Test, I mean, is absolutely insane. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Even though I'm kind of low on energy right now, I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'll refilm this. I probably won't. I'm a little bit lazy right now. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this. It means a lot to me, and I hope that I'm going to put up some new games and kind of get back, like, well, not get back to, but start putting up some more quality content because this is quality content right here. It is. So anyway, guys, like this video, comment, and if you're watching this, if you don't know me and you're somehow still watching this, subscribe to me i'm telling you do it like click that button hipsters have just crowned blank as their new hero uh an emo email whatever anyway guys peace out